Thursday morning, everybody. Early morning. I am definitely the first one here. Definitely. We are getting a real early start today. There's the truck right there, already hooked up, ready to go. We're gonna get her warmed up, do the pre-trip. We gotta be in Arburg, two hours north of here for 7.30 a.m. Hooray. <laughs> I don't mind it though. I've I'm growing to or I, I have been growing to enjoy mornings, early mornings a lot more this year. For the first time in my life. You guys know me, I'm not a morning person whatsoever, or I used or I thought I wasn't. But recently, I've really been enjoying the mornings. I don't mind getting up early. The trick is going to bed early. You see, when I was younger. That just didn't seem to be an option in my mind. I did not like going to bed. Now it seems that I've sort of gotten into a nice routine, you know, where I'm in bed early, I get up early. I feel better, I don't know. I'm gonna get the truck ready, uh, start it up, get it warmed up, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit here and uh, we'll see what's going on in trucking news. Alrighty. Off we go. The trailer's not gonna fall off. Okay. Off to the Megatropolis. That is Arbor. I'm gonna have to do a whole loop here because I can't make this corner to the right. So we're gonna turn left to turn right. Sort of like Confusion Corner in Winnipeg. You, you can't turn right, you gotta turn left to turn right. If you wanna turn left, you turn left. If you wanna go straight, you turn left. Or is it the opposite way around? There we go. See, now we can go straight. Wonderful. We're off to see the city. The wonderful city of Arburg. See if I can get the gate to open from all the way over here. Come on. For some reason, this gate opener button that I have works better uh, from the other side than from this side. Oh, no, it's working. It's opening. Good. It's a bit of a chilly morning today, but good thing we were prepared for that. So handy having that little button. the sun comes up. It's too dark to vlog right now. The day is just flying by. It's lunchtime already. So I was up there on time and got loaded. Had a second part of my load to pick up in Toulon. Got that loaded. Now I'm on my way back. It's about 1230. It's exactly 1230. Wow. been a good day.
do you call a cow with two legs? Lean beef. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. What do you call a dog with no legs? Doesn't matter what you call him. He ain't coming. Okay, in the grand finale. How do you make a squirrel scream? Step on his nuts. So a couple of you have asked a really good question. I've seen the question repeated. Uh, I've said this before, but uh, it's just a refresher for the new people here. You guys have asked, what are these yellow tabs for on the wheels? Well, you see how they stick out past the rubber here? I unhooked from this trailer already, but my mirror looks right down here. And when the wheel turns, this goes around. That way I can see in my mirror whether or not my tires are turning. That's important, especially in winter time when uh, your brakes can freeze together. You want to make sure that your tires aren't dragging, right? You want to make sure that they're turning. Also, uh, some trailers have lift axles. You've seen them. Uh, you probably don't think I have any here to show you right now. And some of our trailers have lift axles and in some states, you get charged uh, per axle on the ground for tolls. So say you're going down the I-80. I forget how their tolls work there, but uh, if you're charged per axle on the ground, it's usually something like five bucks per axle. Uh, and you're, you're driving along, you see the toll booth coming up and you're empty. And you suddenly think to yourself, oh shoot, did I remember to lift up my axle? Because I'll save myself five bucks if I remember to lift up my axle, right? Because I'm empty, I don't need it on the ground. So what you do then is you look in your mirror at your axle that's lifted and you can tell whether or not it's turning or not. If it's not turning, then you, then you know, oh yeah, that's right. I remembered to lift my axle, so the tolls will be cheaper. It's just to let you know, it's just to let you know whether or not your wheels are turning. And if you're a Canadian driver, most of our freight goes or comes from the United States. So you have to have the ability to cross in the US if for whatever reason you're not allowed to cross into the United States, it's going to be very hard for you to find a trucking job in Canada. There's also new things coming about in January. Uh, I don't like talking about this kind of stuff on my channel I, because I know it creates controversy, so I don't want to start fights, but I'm just, I'm just the messenger, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. But starting in January 2022, all truck drivers from Canada crossing into the United States are going to have to be able to prove that they're fully vaccinated. So that's just a heads up for you. Remember that in Manitoba here anyway, vaccination is a six week process. So if you don't want any downtime because you can't cross into the US, you need to start with your first appointment in mid-November. So you gotta be ready for that, okay? I didn't make the rule but that will be across all of Canada because to be a truck driver in Canada, you have to be able to drive into the United States. And to drive in the United States, you're gonna have to be fully vaxxed starting January. Britt and I, uh, if you're wondering about us, we personally went with Moderna. Pfizer, I hear, has a better record. Pfizer is also FDA approved, so it's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. It's up to you, I'm just giving you a heads up, all right? If you're a Canadian driver, you're gonna have to get on that. So I don't like talking about that, but I have to mention it. And don't shoot the messenger. So I've gotta grab some fuel really quick. Uh, I'm gonna run out if I don't. That's not a good day. So we're gonna continue to have a good day. 
gonna run in here to Petro Canada here at Deacon's Corner. Quickly fill her up with some go go juice. Oh, you wait there, Mr. Dodge. Mr. Everybody look at me in my big truck. Ouch! What was that? Quickly fuel her up right here. Hopefully there's no lineup. Okay, good. No, there's not. Good, good, good. I choose this one. What do you guys think? Because that pump there, that's a DEF pump. You want to leave that open for people who actually need DEF. We, on the other hand, <laughs> we can laugh because we don't use DEF in our truck. We're old school. And what I mean by that is this truck is a 2007. So it was one of the very last models of truck to be released without a DEF system, a diesel exhaust fluid system. So it's old school, you just put diesel fuel in it and go. It's pretty simple. I prefer it that way, but uh, that's just my own personal opinion. You may feel different, that's okay. I understand what DEF does. It, it makes the truck's uh, emissions better. Uh, all of our highway trucks are all newer units and our highway trucks are all DEF trucks. Uh, this truck is just for around the city doing stuff like what I do. So it's an old truck and it's uh, it's cheaper to keep this truck running than to buy a whole new, brand new truck for in the city. Down in Fleetland Where the tall, tall pine trees grow they live a preacher daughter and she knows how to jelly roll. And a papa want to save my soul. But a sweet talking daughter, Lord, she loves to jelly roll. Yes, she. Well, we got here long before the sun came up behind us this morning. Now we're leaving just after the sun went down on the other side, just behind those trailers over there. Another long day. Always oh, busy, 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 busy. I like it though. Gals in Mississippi get along and they talk. 